Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home with Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. All right, Aries, let's uh, take a look at September for you. What have you got for Aries in September? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings. So it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You have to go to my website to book me. I'm not going to come to you. I don't think any reader should look for readings. You have to come to me because I resonate with you. So I'm not going to be down there in the comments below saying, this is my WhatsApp. I'm doing readings. That's not me. If you want to win, want to win a reading with me take a look in the description box below you'll find it and win a free reading don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell right there he is Next month. Oh, that's gonna do strong. When I was a kid, it was uh, whew, still giving me a bit of a light head that's coming through so strong. When I was a kid, there was uh, a song called You Make Me Wanna Cry and uh, I think it's You Make Me Wanna Cry by uh, Godly and Cream. They used to be part of 10cc if I am correct. Any nerds out there let me know if I'm completely wrong but it was like a really uh, famous video at the time because they because uh, it was the 80s and they were sort of merging people's faces like it would merge from one face to another and people were like whoa how did they do that? But it was people crying in the video, and I just saw that video. Whew, I got goosebumps, made my head spin a little bit. You make me want to cry. Let's see where this reading goes with that then, because it, it does look kind of quite, quite big here, guys. So Aries, the overall vibe here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of wanted to say Eight of Wands in reverse, but it's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, crossed by the Empress. They know is is what I keep hearing. I'm going to read the cards, but I'm I'm tuning into uh, I'm tuning into what I can hear. They know is what I heard. It's what the uh, source is saying to me. It's like, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, that's like lacking focus on something, lacking uh, intent on something. I, I, I sort of feel like this being the Empress, this is the person in your life, or they're lacking focus on you. Something. So, it's either you know something's going on because the focus isn't on you anymore. Ugh. Or, uh, I, that's, that's what it is. Their focus isn't on, on you anymore. You make me want to cry. This is coming from you. I hear it. This is coming from you. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing all my protection today, so don't worry about me. Um, their focus is off you now, and you know you know something's not right. Did I say they know? It's you know. You know something's not right. And this is what you need to know right now. Two of cups in reverse. I'm not getting emotional. I gotta write that song down. It's gotta go in love lyrics. It's 
got to, hasn't it? Now I've done it. <laughs> Makes me wanna cry. How does it go? You don't know how to play the game and you cheat and you lie. You don't even know how to say goodbye. Oh jeez, this is this is really, really sad. Is, I'm feeling your feelings right now. They've they've their focus was once so very on you and you felt like the Empress. You felt that. You felt special. You were the princess. Or you know, the other way around if you're a guy. You just take it how it resonates if you're a guy. I'm talking uh, from as a woman as a, from a woman's point of view, but you know what I mean if you're a guy, okay? And then it, it's like their focus is off you. You are not communicating with this person uh, in the same way that you used to. Tell me more. I'm getting too emotional. Sorry, guys. Who's so my screen is giving me the light I need? <laughs> Since I had this star on my eye, I, I, the the lights that I used to use, I can't use them. Has this person kind of uh, work for them? It's either they lost their job or you've lost them to their job. I'm hearing lost and job. And I, I, you know, weirdly, I'm actually leaning more towards lost to job. They're not around as much. You've lost them to their job, yeah. Tell me in the comments below, please tell me in the comments below if I'm if I'm right or wrong or way off, you know, whatever. There's fear coming up here. Can I get this hiccupy energy? That's spirit, source, god, whatever. Telling me there's fear from you. Uh, desolation. Whoa, Jesus, really? This is getting deep. Like, you feel like you've lost them. You think that they're with someone else. Let's have a look. This is just your thoughts, what you need to know right now. This is what's going on with you right now I don't know if that is so but I feel how you feel that you think that they are essentially betraying you you're waiting you were waiting for this person they're away I see that this person is away so you, I feel like you've lost them to their job the, guard, the garden and the gate this is you standing waiting for them to come back You don't even know how to say goodbye. They didn't, like, I feel like they didn't really last time they went. It wasn't even like... They didn't even really say goodbye. Not really. They just kind of left. It's not the way it used to be. They used to be like romance. They used to they used to chase you. Now you feel like you're chasing them. They used to pursue you and, and court you and make you feel special. And now you're the one waiting. And Anxiety. Losing cards. Okay, well, let's move forward to um, 
what you need to be aware of in the near future. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, all right, let's take a look. Money. Pentacles are about money, wealth. This is like inheritance, maybe, but this is a love reading. If you see them together, they're together through the. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this is a good card, but I'm not seeing it as a good card. This, I'm seeing this as you being blocked off. You're not welcome. This is them with someone else. This is a good card, so that's what I'm. That's that's how I'm seeing this. Their, their money, their wealth, their, their love is through that door now with somebody else and you're blocked off, you can't have it anymore. Five of Swords. <clears throat> There's no communication. Oh, Jesus. Like, this, this card's really obvious what it means. Look at it. Like, betrayal. Get to Brute. They, they, they're... I, I just, I want to say trust your instincts. It just looks like this person... God, it was so lovely. Like he felt like queen. He felt like everything. And now they didn't even say goodbye. And uh you don't even really know what happened. It just suddenly, the connection was gone. Their focus was elsewhere. They were taken away from home from, from, for work. And uh, it's kind of like they stayed. You don't know how to ease my pain they don't know how to ease your pain so they just don't <clears throat> they're not talking to you best you can hope for I don't make any sense. It does. The source is telling me they have to do this. The source is telling me that No, don't take crap from anybody, especially not this person. Don't be somebody's doormat. Don't let them wipe their boots all over you. But at the same time, <clears throat> you know, move on from this. I can't talk. Can you hear it? It's, it's completely closing up. <clears throat> move on from this, yeah. But you're still, you're still looking at each other. They're still looking at you, you're still looking at them. You provide them with something that they can't find anywhere else. They're out there looking, and they're out there closing you off from what they have right now, which is, it looks like finances, but I think it's a whole lot more than that. It's their love, it's, it's their affection. And you're not part of that right now. The thing is, what you offer them, they cannot find anywhere else. 
and they're still looking to you for that and every time they come back which seems to be on rarer and rarer occasions they come back because you offer them a solace that they can't find anywhere else mother take a look at their mother wounds you know their story what was their mom like poisonous witch perhaps Let's take a look at you. It's hard for you to move on. That's the thing. You try to and you, you, you know, you will come to a point where you, you, you do and you are. But every time you get to that point, that's where they sort of turn up on the doorstep. Mama. Stroke my hair and rub my belly and make me feel better. Light. Can you be a friend? Can you invite them in and say, oh yes, you can come in and we'll make you some nice food and we can talk about your problems. But don't think that this is going to end up in the bedroom. I don't think you're staying here tonight. <clears throat> Go get yourself a motel, mate. But here's some home cooking. Here's some good advice. Now get out of here. Can you be that person? I don't see why you should have to, I mean, personally. But uh, I, I see that some of you can't help it. If you can't help it, the least you can do is give yourself some boundaries so that they don't cross those boundaries. If you let them back into your life, don't let them, don't let them back into your bedroom. And that being the case, you can start moving forwards. You have options then and you can start having your new beginning. You go through your little portal. That's, that's them going through theirs with some person. Who wears really cool hats though, bitch. Damn that bitch has cool hats. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get off. I'm, I'm a hat person. There's cat people and there's hat people. I love hats. Um, stop letting this person in your bedroom and you can start moving forward you have options date see other people that's your portal to the next phase of your life problem is the problem is and this is the outcome is that this is a prison of your own making you can choose to always fall for this person's crap and let them back in and let them back in or, or you can free yourself from this. Shall we have a look? I'm going to have a look now. Here on this video right now. And then I'm going to take it into extended. Where I am going to ask about this person for you. I'm getting a lot of hiccupy energy here. <laughs> I'm going to ask how they feel about you. Where are you in their heart space? How do they see you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. I want to ask something about her. I just want to know something about this other person. I'm 
I'm intrigued. Let me know. She just wears really cool hats. What can I say? Why is the Eight of Swords here for the outcome? You can choose to take this path. You can be in this. Uh, it's like a insecure, codependent, unhappy relationship. You can choose to be in that situation or you can choose to take a step out of it and slowly free yourself from this. I would definitely suggest by not sleeping with this person anymore. I just got a message from someone on Hinge. It said, I give you that. So I give you that. Whatever that means for you, I give you that. Tell me in the comments below. Do you think that was a good message for me on Hinge? What do you think? Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to take this extended in a second. Let's pull you uh, a few oracle cards. Time to release negativity. Release this beast. I'm going to pull you another one. Oh, yeah. Hold your vision. What does that mean to you? Hold your vision in this. What are you looking for? Take them out of the picture. Like them as a person. What are you looking for? The, uh, the relationship, the love, that feeling that they make you feel like a queen. Is that what you want to hold? Hold it. Just doesn't have to be them that gives it to you, right? Just a thought. Where's the, uh, there we go. And your love lyric today is, well, it's, uh, Godly and Cream. You make me want to cry, I reckon. You know what? I'm not going to pull you on. That's your love lyric. Um... Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to watch the extended take, click in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. And um, yeah, if you want to win a free reading, I'll leave the link below. Hope you enjoy. See you later.